Yeah. All right, yo. Episode 65. 65. Speaking this podcast, George, Ryan, hey. Greg, back in the building. Hey, hey, hey. Back to back episodes. Cue the Drake. What number are we on? 65. 65. Um, <laughs> you forgot already. Oh, number 65. Some, Who's number 65? That guy that played for the the Blackhawks. That Chicago guy Blackhawks. who I'm played. I'm going to need more than that. I don't know his name. I saw. I looked it up on the way here. Uh, who number sixty five? Uh, who wore sixty five? Uh, I know who wore double zero. Do we do double zero already? No. <laughs> we'll do that at a hundred. Hey. Uh, ter- um, where is he at? Why is sixty five not a more popular player in the NFL? Elvin Bethea. Who was that? Bethea. Who knows? Tom Mack, Gary Zimmerman. I feel like I've maybe heard of Gary Zimmerman, Gary Zimmerman but the man. other two. But I'm thinking of George uh, Zimmerman. No idea. So. I know I'm not. Yes. I'm, I'm not thinking of the the right well, Zimmerman. He killed sixty five people, possibly <laughs> Zimmerman. Um, <laughs> definitely thinking of He's committed sixty five crimes in his life. Oh wait a minute! I wasn't even thinking about him. <laughs> <laughs> who are you thinking about? What's Yankee Zimmerman who got uh, flipped on his head by Pedro Martinez? Oh, Don Zimmer. Don Zimmer. <laughs> Shaw, Anthony Shaw. I can't believe I said George Zimmerman. Um, Something like that. That's a Freudian slip. Who has pickups, releases, anything? Pickups. What you got? I got a a Niki Runner Light Blue. Shout out George for the fine and Greg for the pass. Oh, I forgot about that. I got a Pure Boost R Mint in pink. What's that? That's the other one that I bought at the outlet. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And then completed a uh, blockbuster trade with uh, Mr. Gregory Robeson for a Yeezy V2 cream. Blockbuster. Blockbuster. (laughs) (laughs) For what? He gave me the KFE gold, gold fives and cash. Dang. And draft pick and consideration for 2018. <laughs> yes. Yes. But Greg, but Greg has to pay the, the luxury tax. I got to pay the luxury <laughs> tax. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are both rich. Um, if anyone wants to pay for my wedding, please let me know. But first of well, all, go fund me. you should have went and got that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Go Let fund us me. know who would contribute to a GoFundMe. GoFundMe for George's wedding. We'll put a banner up with all your names on it. I can't invite you. At the wedding. There are too many people, but we'll put a banner up. Uh-huh. You'll be, you'll I be, didn't know if either one of you guys are going to say anything about it. You'll be, you'll you don't be, have to. If you'll you be listed in the credit. Oh, you'll be listed in the credits at the end Is of the. Is this a different topic? No, 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 no. You'll be listed in the credits at the end of George's uh, wedding video. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, are you telling us not to? I'm not I'm, saying I'm anything. Not saying you got to say whatever you want because I don't care. Yeah. Bruh, you could just say on, it in man. general terms. What the? Oh, Answer dang. it and put it on the show. I got scared. I thought that was <laughs> Fulager calling me. <laughs> yeah. Answer and put it on the show. Oh, fine. <laughs> Hello? You're live on the sneak disc. Two things. Watch your ums. <laughs> and what yeah. else? There was one other thing. Oh, don't be showing. One second. Don't be showing the screen, the, your cell phone. Don't show the cell phones to the to the. Um, this is our manager. The yeah. camera. Well, we're actually recording now, so you're on air. <laughs> well, well, these are very phone, these are very good tips the, for our uh, listeners, though. So. To the camera because nobody like nobody can see it. All right, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> so that was my wife. Manager, shout out, Rocio shout out Rosen, Rocio, the, the mother, biggest, the mother of the uh, the intern, the biggest critic we have. Trust me, every <laughs> night. <laughs> Every night, she's like, she counts my ums. I'm like, did you hear the content? Okay, she's actually called me and gave me pointers before about the show. So, yes, that, that is a fact that the number one critic. Like, that, well, probably number four critic after us. But every I must night. be doing pretty good because I never got a phone call. <laughs> yeah, every right. night, every night, we don't talk for like at least 15 minutes. Because she says something, I get mad. And we don't <laughs> um, oh, crap, I just said um. Okay. What are we talking it's about? It's not okay. that big a so deal. So GoFundMe. Now, you guys don't have to say anything, <laughs> and I'm not going to yeah, say too much. Yeah, we can say much, um right now. Okay? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, not going to say too you much. You can say whatever you want. I don't care. I don't care if we offend people. The following no. is an opinion of way? Gregory Robeson and, no, not the opinion, don't do that. and not the opinion of the entire sneak. <laughs> Which, by the way, that stuff on that show that we were talking about earlier, when he pulled I mean, we could talk about names if you want. When he pulled up on academics... Bro, if that ever happens here, I'm Who, not Vic in the Mensa? gunplay, but I will fight somebody. Mensa? I do not care. You want Vic Mensa? Yes. Oh, I'd slap the brakes off of him. Though. He think he's... I, I don't know what happened to him. Though. I have no problem with anyone from any city, and I don't do gunplay, so y'all playing with guns, leave me out of it. But if you want to fight, please pull up. 
Um, and this, I just, I can't help it. The and two this ums, is not nothing ums. to it. I'm only saying this because we've talked about this amongst people that we know. Okay. Yes. If you are a sneakerhead and you're a big sneakerhead, <laughs> and I'm not saying that this was his idea. I understand. <coughs> I understand people wanting to help him out. I get it. Your friends, that's your homie, that's your brother, whatever. You want to start a GoFundMe and help me out. Help somebody out. I would never, ever give money to somebody who was literally nicknamed basically half a house of Jordans, okay? <laughs> if you have... Why y'all looking like that? I don't know I don't why care. he's looking at me. I don't care. He's because, worried about no because he's been nice recently. To that's the, fine. And I, this is strictly me. Then I don't care if anybody no, else feels it. I definitely don't care. I'm just saying that I need confirmation that if you need up to a hundred thousand dollars, you've sold every single sneaker that you have, and then I might give you something. Agreed. It's like us going on Facebook groups and people like, "Yo, new pickups." Lightning fours, South Beach eights, so and so and so and so. Can't pay yo, rent. Yo, fam, if anybody, you know, you know, this happened, <laughs> if anybody could donate, or, or my son needs money for basketball camp. If y'all, y'all, no, man, sell your Jordans and all your sneakers first, and then I'll talk to you. I'll have more respect for you. If something happened to the point to where I need that much money, I gotta sell every single sneaker I own. Yes. Even if, if it's at rock bottom prices, all right? I can't watch your- Bargain use. basement blowout. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Fomer Simpson sold 500 shoes pretty quickly. So, I mean, not saying that he got the most for that amount, and obviously we're just going based on the, him telling us that on a video. He's more well known in the sneaker community than any other random person. But if he can sell 500 shoes that quick, you can sell enough to get that to get that money. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, he, if he has a thousand in his collection, it's an average of a hundred dollars a shoe. And a lot of those are probably worth multiple thousands. Of I'm dollars. not going to watch your video on YouTube talking about your pair number 1000 and whatever. And you need hundred K not saying that this is him doing it. This is other people asking for right. it. I get it. I'm not saying anything. And I'm not saying that they're wrong, but you're going to have to give me confirmation that you no longer have a basement full of J's. Period. That's that's that. And we're not wrong for saying that. Like, I'm not wrong. Like, we're not wrong, and we're not mean, and we're not messed up for saying it. But you're asking sneaker, the sneaker community for our hard-earned money. We went to work all week, all right? I could go give it to a stripper if I was into that type of stuff. <laughs> like, it's just ridiculous. Anyways, moving on. Shout out to, you said. So uh, what you're saying is I shouldn't ask the listeners for my wedding, to pay for my wedding. Is that what you're saying? Unless you sold all your genre. <laughs> if you sell all your SBs. And your boosts. <laughs> if you definitely have like a soldier, I would join saying worth nothing. You should sell every single SB, to. every single SB for 50 bucks. So you just should. You're probably right. Except every the ones one. that are dead stock, but yeah, you're probably right. Why not? So you probably those hundred then. So those for a hundred then. I sounded like Vic Almighty. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, except, I mean, I have like Statue of Liberties, probably a little bit more, and I'll get 84 Tiffany right High is probably a little bit more. Yeah, I'll buy Statue of Liberties right from you right now. So um, To do what? To put on the table trade. right okay. <laughs> trade with Ryan later. Um, you said nephew there. I was in line uh, signing up for oh, Yeezys. Right. Ran into your brother in law, Edgar, who was there signing up for Yeezys and buying his son, your nephew, Kyrie Twos, for his hey, basketball league that's hey, starting up. I told him. So to shout out Edgar me. and your nephew. Hey, 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 shout hey, out to him. Hey, Although he texted hey, me today, hey. can I get him Yeezys? But he didn't tell me. Well, the house okay, so I know what you're saying. You were saying something about. You, the point you're making is you can get it discounted. But if you think about it, like when we go to stores, especially when we go to New York, we weren't really looking for like sales. We're just buying stuff because we're in really the store. Because we're there. That's what the dumbest part about it. Not you at go all. Go to visit somewhere or you go in a store, you just feel obligated to like buy some stuff at retail. In my mind, I said when I was in New York, I'm going to go in Full Locker and look for like sale stuff. Like, I mean, no, I, I, nothing. I didn't look. I'm looking for the most expensive <laughs> stuff they, <laughs> they got. I'm in Kith. Ha! I'm not looking for anything. On the sale there. wall, Kit, um, shout out. Kith has the best sales ever. But I, I got sorry, I got KFE gold fikes from uh, Ryan. That's been a, a deal in, in trade talks for about two yeah, years now. Finally, we're able to get it done. So we got that done. Uh, anything else? No. Uh, you want to do releases? So What's wait, releasing? you have seventeen white Yeezys now, or how many 18, white Yeezys? Eighteen and a half. Oh my God. Um, releasing this week, we've got the N7 pack. It's a Kyrie, a Sockdart, and a Rachi. 
Uh, we have the Nike Zoom Mariah Flyknit releasing this weekend. You copying that? No. I like them, but I'm not paying. I'm not paying 150 for them. Is that would, the one that's like a Flyknit toe box with like the mix back yeah, part of the shoe? And it's like yeah, it's like Nick's colors. Um, Y'all buying an in seven or something else? No, I'm gonna no. show you this. The shoe. Kyrie's aren't terrible though. They're like white and gold. They're not bad. Um, I'm gonna pull this shoe up because I don't know if this is what you're talking about. The but. Nike Vapor Max Triple Black, the Jordan One White and Blacks again. I don't know why we need another all white and another all black Jordan, but God bless. The white ones are nice, <laughs> um, and I definitely don't know why we need this. But the Jordan OG Spizikes are releasing. I, there's so <laughs> many things that should release before a Spizike that haven't come out yet. Um, real quickly, topics for today. We're going to go into the Jordan 9 baseball gloves, the Jordan 6 bomber jacket, the Jordan 12 PSN Y pack, the Jordan Converse pack. Jesus Christ, we're talking about a lot of Jordan stuff today. This is a um, Jordan sneak this episode. This is a episode. Jordan sneak this episode. Then we are going to get into the NBA draft and trades that have happened over the past few days. Um, and then, oh, getting away from the Jordan brand, we're going to talk about the top 10 non-Nike Jordan basketball shoes of all time to us, which some are displayed very proudly right here on our Sneak Disc set. <laughs> sneak Disc set. This is the Sneak Disc Studios. Um, sneak Disc Studios, Orlando, said, Florida. I can't help myself. You can't. That's four. We're um, counting. Collaboration. Jeez, I, I just did it. Six. Jordan 9 baseballs. <laughs> Mitts, gloves, whatever. Um, garbage. Good lord. You know what? They're not, I don't think they're garbage. Ryan, stop. I don't think they're garbage. I was like, if Ryan says he thinks they're okay, he wants to wear them to softball. That's why. I don't think they're garbage. I think. I think it's like. I think it's probably one of the best nines. Okay. Uh, Those joints look like barbecue sauce. <laughs> Those are awful. When are they going to get? Tight. When are? When is everybody going to get over the fact that Jordan played for the Barons for what? A Scorp a Scorpions. These are from the Scorpions. Yeah, like this season from the who or whatever. The Scottsdale Scorpions. That's he played one of their, for another team? No, one of their... The Scottsdale Scorpions was like below the Barons. Yeah, uh, probably like um, Arizona Fall League or whatever. Yeah. And he was on the team or something? Yeah. It's the same well, team. Well, he didn't go like right to training camp. He it's, the same team that, it's the same team that <laughs> Tebow played for. Spring training. Uh, okay, Scottsdale Scorpions. I don't care what they are. Enough with Jordan, Jordan playing baseball. All right. Those shoes are off when it's once again another sneaker that we don't need. Okay? They're pretty whack. They're kind of dope. What makes those dope? They wove a yeah, leather they lace. Wove, in them. They're those woven. Suck. They're like baseball glove leather looking. They super I suck. think that's going to be a shoe that down. The, I don't know. I, it better not be four hundred. It better be one ninety. Well, it's a pinnacle, isn't it? Oh, if it's a pinnacle, it's a then pinnacle. It sucks. And if it's they wrapped it. it sucks. They wrapped it in the package like a pack of baseball cards. That's dope as hell. No, it's not. It's reaching. I want those. You're trying way too hard. You know what? If I can know, get those for ninety bucks, I'd cop those for. But 90 you bucks. know what that does? That that's almost reasons why. At least me. Dope packaging is why I almost stopped started copying certain things. Yep. That Puma Blaze I got from Kith, that shoe was awful. But that packaging, the magazine box that peels open in the Ziploc bag, fire. Eight balls? Eight balls? Because it's oh, oh, eight balls is one of the top But five, the packaging, though. But the packaging is fire, though. I did, I wouldn't have wanted the, the eight balls if it was in the regular box. If it wasn't in the cocaine wrap box, I wouldn't have copped. Even the, I mean, this box is super simple, but even you bought the, the undefeated ones without a special box. Undefeated's had a special box? No, 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 without, no, 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 without a special box. The dribbles. Yeah, dribbles. but that's there's a. I think those might be a little slightly better than cocaine's. Asic threes. No, 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 just saying. You know I love undefeated. Fox. Well, I'm yeah, gonna say that number one of your list. If on I could get the baseball glove nines for under a hundred, under one fifteen, I would cop. That doesn't count. If you're not willing to pay retail, then you don't like them. I do like them. Those are awful. How would you wear those? With tech pants. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, tan. Tan tech pants. I don't know. I think those are dumb. Uh, same thing with the Motorsport 6. I mean, the, sorry, the Bomber Jacket 6. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that when you sent a picture of it. Um, okay, those are better than baseball gloves. I, I think the baseball gloves are better. Honestly. You're crazy. But the bomber. The, I don't understand what the point is. What's the point of it? Thank you. The the what was the eight? What was the what, take flight eight? The take flight eight was better than the bomber jacket sixes. But and the are, fight the what was the five that just came out? The green one. Oh, with that special box. Yeah. Take flight fives. Take flight know. fives. That was that's the better premium than the, fives. That's they were than okay. Black also, they were okay, but the box was or, better than the five was. Uh, These bomber jacket six are supposedly based off of him wearing that jacket when he hosted. Saturday Night Live. You want to talk about your design team is just reaching. reaching. 
Like you have nothing well, if you look at Letterman pretty ones. Soon, oh, I forgot about those. You got yeah. Letterman ones. Yeah, but those uh, those aren't bad though. Like you can wear those with whatever you want, pretty much. Tech pants. <laughs> they're <laughs> a little. Pants. They're not as easy to wear as you think. No, they are. aren't. That red I mean, is like a rare red. Blue jeans and basically any color T-shirt you want. I mean, I guess <sighs> they're not dif- as difficult to wear as a baseball mitt. Baseball mitt and bomber jackets are difficult. The only place you can wear those is a spring training game or D back stadium. That's it. It's like the Gatorade Six is coming out. <laughs> I don't even think I've seen. Them. You want I those? I don't think they're bad, but come on! Now we're going to Gatorade commercials, Saturday Night Live hosting David Letterman uh, appearances. appearances. Yeah, but baseball they, gloves. Hold on, hold on, though. Yeah, but they got shattered backboard pack, and everyone loves that. That's so. different. Why? Because he's playing a actual sport. He's playing that's basketball right. for that. Well, that's yeah, like, but it's still. But you're saying reaching, so they're still reaching for something. Yeah, but he. But first of all, a lot of that shattered backboard stuff. I never even knew it. I never even knew he was on a team like that and shattered. I never knew Jordan shattered a backboard. Like I'd never seen that before. It might have been CGI. Well, wait, so you're saying because <laughs> yes, you didn't 19, know it is okay? No, but it was at least basketball related. Right. We're talking about him wearing a jacket hosting. Pretty soon they're going to release denim ones for his jeans. Like, they're going to do something corny. Yeah, but they've also done Olympic sixes that he didn't even wear. Ray Allen, Ray Allen did, wore. And you love those. But you at least, I mean? but like, at least somebody wore them. Okay. You no, made me buy those. No, no, when they first came out, not the retro. I hated them when they first came out. And the second time we went up there to camp out, you yeah. were like, bro, you're the, you're smoking. These are so fire. I don't remember And that. I bought them. I wore them once to that restaurant we went to. I remember, th- I remember that. I don't Got remember you saying you hate them before him. that. Olympic 7s are the only Olympic Jordans that matter. That's another shoe he didn't wear. All right, so speaking what? of... Olympic 7s? What are you talking about? Oh, wait, about? 92. Yes, Sorry. Yeah. So speaking of reaching then, we'll move this topic up ahead of the PSNY pack. Is Jordan reaching with the Jordan 2 Converse pack? Because they're taking the first PE ever made for Jordan, which is was the 2 for him to play in the UNC... Um, alumni game. Oh, that's why that's in there? That's why that's in there. So it was the first Jordan. <laughs> it was the first non You ate everything today. And then, obviously, the Converse that he wore in college, because now Nike owns Converse, so they can make this pack. So, obviously, we've seen a lot of alternate Jordans come out in the past two years. Alternate fours, alternate sixes, uh, alternate... 13 lows. I'm not buying it, but I will say this. Uh, apparently, the pack is only 300 bucks. The pack is $300. So, shout out for an affordable pack. For but, a, but a Chuck Taylor is $50. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. The $50. <laughs> and, a and, a Jordan, Taylor, and a Jordan 2 is 120 And a Jordan 2 is 120 It's a, what is it? A run in something? No. Uh, Here, I'll tell you. I don't know. But I mean, but that, I mean, that. That Converse shoe, if you went to Converse and it was just Fast sitting on a shelf, low. would be 75 bucks. Fast break low. And yeah, Jordan 2s well, are like 140. So you cop it, Ryan. My point is no, it's not I would bucks. for uh I would I would contemplate buying it for swoosh because I like the Converse actually more than I like the Jordan 2. Everyone should. That it, it's dumb. It doesn't make any they're just doing anything. <laughs> the pack is definitely stupid. There's no of course it is. It's, like, what do I need the charity game twos for? Like, <laughs> people barely want the actual ones he won a game. Like, what do I want the charity game ones for? And I hate that this is an, a lot of Jordan topics today because we, people swear, I mean, we might as well call ourselves Boost God 1, 2, and 3. Like, they think we just swear by Boost. You hate it on Boost. Every day. I did last week. The last right? month, actually. Now, I hate that we're talking about Jordan so heavy today and we're hating on it. But they're talking about utter nonsense. Now, the Converse. You're right. I think I might buy the Converse if, if it, it was, was... If it was by itself and it was like 80 bucks, $79. Oh. I might consider it. But the problem I have with the Converse is I think I want something on it that shows that it's Jordan. Or at least North Carolina. It's literally just the Converse. A blue and white canvas Converse. Now, I do always ask for the authentic retro. I want it to be the retro. But if you're going to buy something like that, I want the average person to see something Jordan on it and say, yo, why don't Converse got a Jordan Jumpman on it? Like, and so I could say these are the ones that he wore in college. That pack, yet affordable, it's still overpriced because now you're oh, yeah. saying... It should be 200 bucks. Because what are twos when they came out? Like 140 I think. Two High twos? I think they were 140 When they first really? came out? No, no, no. Oh, now. when they first oh. came out. No, no, no. Oh, when no, they no, first no, came no, out, they were probably like 80 no, 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 Oh, now. now. Like, I think they're 140 They're only 140 I think they're 140 Really? 
thought they were a little more than that. I thought I think the Chicago. I think one forty were for the lows. I think the Chicago mm, Mango well, lows might have been one forty. One twenty. Really? On the lows. I might have been one fifty on the highs, but they were cheaper. One fifty for that maybe Converse is insane. I just I can't. See, that's do a problem. It. Like that Converse for eighty bucks. It's you know I mean, if that pack was two hundred, it would be fairly priced. I think maybe two fifty. If they would have did a jacket and a hat or a t-shirt and a hat, I would get it. Or that Jordan North Carolina jersey in that pack, and even bump it up to four hundred, I'd be all right with that. <laughs> I would be okay with that. You got to give me something for that pack. That pack is garbage. It's unnecessary trash. Like, can I get a a two thousand? Uh, infrared six, please. I don't need baseball gloves and bomber jackets and Gatorade. Look at him. Things. 60, 62 episodes again. He was saying he would never buy a Jordan six, no matter what add on it. Now he's begging. You right, but they won't now stop making begging. nonsense. I said I would never buy a two thousand Jordan six because I was angry that they sold me replicas with this nonsense that came out in what two thousand twelve. What year was that? No, fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, a couple years ago. Begging. He's begging now. <laughs> I can't honestly see myself buying any more Jordans besides Jordan 1 Lowe's snakeskins that are going to come out at some point. And that's about it. No, you will. Because we Yo, talked about you it on just this said show. You were going to oh, buy Navy you're like, 11s. I'm buying this. And I'm, every episode is like, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy that. I'm buying Navy 11s. I'm buy that. And Red 11s. I'm oh, you know we're going to be in the car, whipping oh, the car around. I'm not buying those. I'm not, I'm not keeping those. You know we're going to be those cop- whipping the car around but buying Navy those. Navy 11s. You I'm know copping. you're buying OG bread fours. Oh yeah, I'm buying those. Yeah. And OG <laughs> bread Look at him. And OG the bread only, the only two Jordans I'm gonna buy. Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> I never changed mind. my mind. Yeah, I'm gonna buy those. I changed my mind. Grade school Jordan twos on East Bay are 140. So that means that the men's got to be 160, 160 or 75 yeah. or something like that. Yeah, eat my shorts. Lows are 160 in men's. Really? Yeah, but they, well, they're on sale right now for 105. But P- PSN okay, y maybe pack. they are 180 then. PSN Y pack. Uh, First of all, let's hold, just on burgundy. hold on a second. What? Let's just say, what? Do you, what? What's up? Hold on a second. I just curious if you guys have seen these right here because these are. Hey, don't flames. show the phone to the camera. I'm not going to show it to okay. the camera, but he's going to put a picture of it up after we're done. Okay. Am I? I, think, I don't so. think he's going to. I don't know, I don't man. Know. Have you seen pictures of the Nike Dual Racer? What the yeah, yeah, that? yeah. It's it's like the Mariah. But that one's fire. A little bit, yeah, like it. but that'd be at exactly. the outlet. There was some uh, when I was doing when nah, I was googling. The pictures are way better as you go. I was looking for something the online today, and I came like across like the Nike 180 or 170 that comes out next year. That actually looked pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those those 270. Suck. 270. Those I was gonna ask suck. you about that suck. because you love Air Max stuff, so <clears throat> those I, have those a, I have the picture of that too. You're crazy if you think these suck. These are dope. I don't think those suck. I don't think Air Maxes should be made anymore without vapor. No, those are tight. They kind of look like hyper adapts. Um, Copying those. This right here, Air Max Two Seventy. I said um again. I'm sorry, Rocio. Those are trash. Those don't suck. They're not balanced correctly. <laughs> you gotta walk on your heels. That's I don't get heel drag. I don't think another. Get, I don't drag. think another Air Max should come out without Vapor Max sole. Like, what's the point of the Vapor Max sole if it's not gonna be utilized? So more? I found yeah. a pair of three sixties the other day. What are those? The Air Max three sixties. Oh, Air Max three sixties. To me, that's like the Vapor Max. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna wear it next week. They can't. I mean, if they you have wear, Air Max, mine next week. if they All have right. Air Max Day every year, they have to do something. They can't just do a Vapor Max every. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna have to be some kind of. That's what it's revolutionary. For. They're gonna have to put the sole on an Air Max 95, Air Max 97, Air Max 90. Well, that's what that that contest was for. <laughs> Oh, was it? Yeah. Well, remember oh, they put like oh, different soul. That. Well, I mean, that's not the only reason. You oh, built whatever right. shoe you wanted, but you put like the one that won was it a 97 upper with the 90. 90 or, or, MX1. or one soul. MX1 yeah. soul. So, real quickly, speaking of revolutionary, before we jump into PSN Wise, do we want to talk real quickly about the new Nike technology that's come out in basketball shoes? I didn't read about it, but it's supposed to be the new. A foam. Oh, is that what it is? It's foam. It's a foam that they're putting in. They did uh, a Jordan. And they did the Hyperdunk? Is yeah, it a Hyperdunk? The new Hyperdunk. Hyper and Draymond was wearing those in the playoffs. Hyper dunk. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. <laughs> but it's supposedly made for Blake. The Jordan is for Blake Griffin. Yes. Draymond was probably wearing the other one, the Hyperdunk. Yeah, because Griffin didn't play in the playoffs, so I'm assuming he would have played in those in the playoffs. Um, well, Shout out Blake Griffin coming to Phoenix. Clippers get that far. <laughs> I don't. Well, they were in the playoffs. Yeah, but they... Yeah. He was hurt. He, I know, but the shoot, like we're just hearing about it in the finals. They may not have had it before the finals, you know. What I'm oh well, yeah, but they didn't say anything about the technology in the Draymond Green shoe until like day before yesterday. Yeah, but they showed the shoe a long time ago before yeah. the playoffs started. They showed the actual shoe. Oh, they just I didn't say that. what the sole was. Honestly, I don't understand why it's introduced first to basketball, but 
whatever. Is, God bless. Isn't it just lunar? It's not like lunar. It's like a, they said it's no, like a phone. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they're trying to copy. Boost? Not copy, but do something like boost. But yeah, hmm. supposedly it's more like, because I watched a video today and they were they were saying, what do you compare it to? Like memory foam mattress or something like that? And it was similar to that. But it supposedly like has more spring back than, well, they didn't, they're not going to say boost, obviously, but they're like, watch this. And they like bent it and it was like, boing, pause. <laughs> yeah, it's just new shots. So you jump. <laughs> I'm serious. They bent the, they had like at the sample thing, They it was yesterday in New York and they had like people from Complex went in there and got invited and got shoes on like doing drills in the basketball shoes or whatever. And they had the sample piece of foam on the thing, and the guy was like, "Watch this!" And he like bent it down, and that joint bounced right back. And that's the whole point about the. When Ryan suggested the <clears throat> top ten non Jordan, non Nike basketball shoes ever to us or whatever, I saw a lot of technology that just didn't work like <laughs> so much. Now I'm not gonna say the shoe yet until I say my shoes because I don't want to even put it in your mind to possibly add it to your list because I'm so, I'm so surprised. My list is There's locked a few except that's two and one are switched. Um, I just can't. Stop. I'm gonna try one of these on though, not the Jordan because this one? I heard that the yeah okay. Oh, okay, not the Jordan but the the, the basketball one. one. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. try one on because I mean I've said that about a lot of shoes and I never do. But. True, PSNY, PSNY. So first, real quick, do you like them? I mean, I have the, the originals, so right. yeah, I like them. I don't think we need three more. I think out of the three, if I was going to get one. Don't say the wheat. <laughs> no, it would actually be the olives. Olives first, then wheats, then maroons. George, you like them? Or burgundies, whatever they are. Um, yes, I do, except I don't think I would buy them. I don't know. I'm, I don't, even if you I would have, even if I would have gotten the gray ones, I don't think I'd They're wear green. them ever. The gray ones? The ones you guys have. Yeah, I wore them twice. I just couldn't do anything with them, and I love them, and I, I just got rid of them. Yeah. The design of the shoe and the materials is obviously plush, but I don't think you can wear it anywhere. I mean, well, I'm sure Wale or Stale or one of them will pull it off, but... I hate to be that guy, but it's another dumb thing by Jordan. The Bordeaux's come out in what, Milan? Olives come out in Paris, wheat, New York City. Oh, is that what it is? Supposedly. Oh, all right. That's supposedly. That's At least what that's I, how the legend, the legend has been told. That's what I read. I've been waiting for you to say about the legend. <laughs> You've never said it one time. You've never said it again in text message. You said, according to legend, actually, according to legend, I was thinking. When you said the legend's been told, I was like, it'd be much better if he said according to legend. <laughs> but I heard that, or read that Bordeaux was Milan. Olive is Paris. Wheat is New York City. That's so cliche to have Why? Wheat. I don't know. It's just another dumb thing by Jordan. Why can't you just release them to the world? Ugh. Like, why can't we all have the opportunity to give you our money? Like, I don't know why I have to work so hard to give you my money. I'm sick of it, bro. <laughs> oh, you didn't say Rele Zebra's released this week. Oh, I, I didn't put that on the list. Yeah, you didn't put that on the list. Zebra's. I signed up. You don't even care anymore. I signed up. I signed up. Yeah, I said, are you going to go? You're allowing anything I'm going to go. I wasn't at first because I couldn't. <laughs> and then I, I, the class got canceled, so then I went. Bruh. Shout out to when, Undefeated's bruh. air going out yesterday. When You've been talking about Zebras for about the last couple months straight. You're right. You remember when uh, Galaxy Phone Posits came out? You actually drew a picture. That's how excited you I were. I almost and drew a picture. Me, no, and you telling phones. me you, you, you texted like, no, nah, I'm not going. You're not as hyped as you were. <laughs> oh, no, because I, I went on Adidas. I figured I'm gonna get them off Adidas. See, you can't assume. That. And I now got some you, new tactics. You would have lost if you would have got if you wouldn't have went. Now that you went to the to the lottery, you're gonna win. Now. But so I'm not gonna buy those galaxies in the group for five hundred. I don't know. I'm strongly debating on it, and that's facts. Mm -hmm. And you know, I don't mess with phone posits, but galaxy phone posits. I'm strong. Well, I'll tell you this: they've been up there for like a week, and nobody said a damn word about them. So you you're, might be able to get them for like you're not, and you oh. shouldn't buy those. I'm gonna see if I could trade them something else. I got. No, do buy them, wear them once, and sell them. And give them all of Yeezys or something. <laughs> Don't do that. All of these are a thousand dollars. If you okay, first Bro, your of all, prices on stuff. Flight Club. I know, but you should be trying to get me all of Yeezys. All right. You don't have all of Yeezys? No, the one. No, not the ones you guys have. The ones that are coming out. Are oh, those I'm trying to get. Man, those suck. Yeah. So you should help me. I will. You should help me. Why not? I help whatever. You have enough Yeezys. I don't have barely any now. I need to sell the um, brown ones so I can get married. <laughs> <Tans>? <laughs> whatever they are. Oxfords. Yeah. The brown stripe. No, not the oh, not the one. Not the V ones. The V twos, yeah. Well, I don't care about the PSNY pack. I just think it's when ridiculous. Is your March. 
Dang, but things need up. to be paid for before then. Or you, uh, or what you else won't we got? be having a wedding. NBA uh, draft. Uh, NBA draft and trades. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Some of us will be at the uh, all, Suns draft party. All of us. You're not going? Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I have uh, a workshop tomorrow night. So so is. we'll be in the building. I think I'm gonna we're going to do more like Santa. live and video and stuff. We're going to try. Yeah, we're going to do yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do more of that. Um, yeah. With Devin Booker. The greatest shooting he guard. Might be in, there. The greatest shooting guard in the NBA. Mm-hmm. There was a thing I saw on Twitter, by the way. It was uh Devin Booker. Could would you rather be. have Booker? So the Suns have the fourth pick, assuming they pick Fox or whoever. Just, Fox. just assume, they have to get Fox. Just assume a point guard. Instead De'Aaron of Fox, okay. Kentucky. Just all right. So just follow this. He was saying, actually, let me look this up. Because Fox, Booker on the wing. Who's the ones in? Oh, Gary Harris and Murray in Denver. He was saying he would take Murray. And Gary Harris over Booker and whatever point guard, assuming they pick a point guard, Fox. In my opinion, that's fucking crazy. I was now, Jamal say, Murray might be. The I was going to say. I thought you were going to say that was a good deal. No. That's a good idea. Well, no. So his point was like, I would take these two over these two. And then obviously he said, give me your opinions. And people started, like most people say, you're crazy. But when I was looking at it, I was like, How? he. I think he's a jazz fan or like. I mean, Denver fan or lives in Denver or something. So it's a sports writer on Twitter. But when I saw that, I was like, you got to be kidding me. There's no way that that makes Devin Booker is going to be one of the top. Now, he has a very high opinion of Jamal Murray, and Jamal Murray may be very good, but he ain't Devin Booker. All right. Devin Booker is going to be a top 10 player in the league. Who are you watching? Period. Uh, no, I just clicked the thing, popped up in the notification. I just clicked it. Uh, okay. I mean, we already know Semple's a big because he's a Suns fan. So, who the Suns yeah. drafted? Curious for your thoughts. Assume number four is the number four pick is Fox. Would you take Murray and Harris over Booker and Fox? Or he said I would take Murray and Harris over Booker and Fox. No, you. Huh. I think it's foolishness. I don't care. I don't care if it's Fox or Josh Jackson or whoever. If you're talking about two and two, to me, Gary Harris is, you know, a, a, a solid. I guess player. I don't know if he's a bench guy or starts for them. And Jamal Murray can be very good, but Booker is already there, and he may even be younger than those guys. He is, and 20. he's still going like this. Well, let 21. me tell you why that doesn't matter. Because tomorrow, only... the number four pick will be gone, and the Phoenix Suns will have Porzingis. Okay. Well, the roster that and you then... put, the roster that you put together had Porzingis, Wait, Kevin are you Love. Like, <laughs> saying you read something, or you just talking crazy? Both. <laughs> we're gonna get Porzingis. We're gonna trade for Blake Griffin. Oh, that's who it was. We're gonna Griffin. get Kevin Love yeah. in a four-team deal, <laughs> right? And our starting five is gonna be. There is no way the Phoenix Suns are in the position to make a semi a semi super team. Okay, Blake yeah. Griffin Porzingis is a semi super team. We're not in that position. Blake Griffin right Porzingis, Kevin Love, uh, Devin Booker, and Ulis. I think it's gonna be cool tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm going to definitely take the opportunity. I think it's going to be whack. It's a possibility of that. Too. I think it's going to be whack because the lottery party was whack. Oh, you went to that? Uh, this year or a different one? I went to it last year. I was invited this year. but What was the lottery party at? In the holding area, like where the, the tickets are. Oh, really? In that main room. Oh, you know what really? What I mean? Yeah. Isn't that, that better not. The, isn't that where the draft party is? I, I went to so. one one year and it wasn't there. It was. I think so. Oh, really? But that was a long time ago. That was probably like. I think they do it in that little ago. holding area where, like, you like you walk into the where you would buy tickets. Yeah, we can go and just like you know, do some crazy and get kicked out. That's true. Yeah. Make a name for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sneak this on Fox Ten News. I don't know. Phoenix. I think I think De'Aaron Fox is the going to be the best player in the entire draft period. I have a feeling tomorrow I, just, I have a feeling know it. this draft is going to be it's it. going to be a crazy first round. I think there's nah, going to be a lot of trades and a lot of Who got traded yesterday? You you're you're smoking if you think he's going to be the best player. Better, um, better than Fultz. There's no way. Now, I, if honest, you said better than Ball, pause. I'd I be think, like, okay. I think fine. Fultz you know, I mean I don't care how good he is. You took your team to what 9 and 20? Like, what were the, the the Huskies? They were trash. They had no one else to help I don't him. care. And what did he do before I that? don't care. 9 and 20. So you only care about one year of his career or what? He did a lot of stuff before that. He won know. two championships with Team USA Basketball. And on one of them, he averaged 25, 9, 6 steals and like two blocks a game. That's As fine. a guard. That's fine. Uh, who got traded yesterday? The Dwight Lakers Howard. dealt 
Uh, yeah, the Russell. biggest trade is D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell. He picked two years ago, and he was number two overall. And Mozgov to the Brooklyn Nets for... Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez and a pick. And a trash first round pick. Trash. Is that bad by the Lakers to go to Russell? Was that second uh, year? They're going to take ball, so I don't, yeah, I mean, I don't think I, they think he's better. I don't think I have a strong opinion one way or another on that. That's more like one of those, we'll see what happens. I did see some things that said, like... These five players, along with D'Angelo Russell, are the only players in their first two years to do this. And I don't remember what it was. It was some crazy stats. I mean, he averaged, what, like 17 and 7 last year? 17 and 6? Uh, yeah, 6 So, he, I mean, I think he has upside, but at the same time, like, I think he did a lot of stuff in that Lakers locker room that he might have needed a new place <laughs> to start over. I think the problem with, like, all these new kids is that I, I look at them. I don't look at De'Aaron Fox and think he's trying to be cool. Russell was just trying to be well, cool. Well, he was trying to be cool. All right. Instead of going to work, you could be the coolest person on earth when you're not at work, okay? You're rich. You're young. You're probably smashing everybody in California. Go play basketball. He's too – I can't I, – I, I never liked him. I never did. Over the top? He's just too over the top yeah. for me. He's like Nick Young. Nick Young yes. is – he's fun. I bet hanging out with Nick Young a night, a night on like – Sunset posted up at the club. <laughs> I bet you have the time of your life, bro. I bet bro. you get girls. I bet it's just wild, all right? But I need you to play basketball. And I root for the Lakers. I don't have an NBA team. I root for players. I root for the Lakers because that was the only basketball games I went to as a kid growing up in LA. I love the Suns. But I will say this if the Suns win the championship, bro. Wilding, all right. I'm wild in the streets if the Suns win a championship because it'll never happen in our lifetime. Oh, yes, it will within no, the next 10 years. No, it's not. My within son, within the next 10 years, the Suns will win NBA title. My son might see them. We'll be dead, <laughs> we'll be long gone before the Suns do. Within the next 10 years, the Suns will win NBA title. The Cardinals and the Phoenix Suns won't win a championship while we're in. We'll be past 50. If that's even before they come close, the again. Cardinals are closer, but they they're need not a quarterback. They're closer Car- than the Suns are. Car- yeah, they're than the Suns. The Cardinals yeah. won't get in the playoffs in the next five years. Cold hard facts. No, that's not true. Facts. That's not true. Bet on it. Bet the what? Suns will win a championship within ten years. Wrong, because Devin Booker will leave in like two. No, he's gonna have no choice. The following players were drafted after D'Angelo Russell in that draft: Chris Stapp, Porzingis, better than him, Willie Cauley Stein. Mm. He's better than him. Cauliflower. He's, he's better than him. Cauliflower. Moody A, debatable. Oh, debatable. Deba- debatable. He started out really good, and then he just kind of fell off. Debatable. Justice Winslow, probably not, but still. Uh, mm, He's upside. Miles Turner. Oh, yeah, yeah. He can play. He can play. He's Devin a- Booker. Oh, yeah, he's way better. <laughs> now he's into it. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, now okay. we're talking. Now, now we're talking. talking. We cook it. Uh, Give me Ulyss. Give me Ulyss. That was next year. Was Terry next year. Rozier. He can play. I don't think he's starting for Boston, nah, but he can play. He can play. Uh, let's see. Who else is on this list? Um, that might be it as far as guys who <laughs> you could say that they should have been picked in front of him. Either way, Marty it doesn't matter. It round. doesn't matter. Because I'm just saying, like, it doesn't matter because the Lakers overdrafted him. Yeah, he won't be on the Nets in a couple years either. He's going to travel. He's going to be on team and team and team. One reason, because all these kids keep coming out of college way too early. They, I wish the NBA and NCAA would make a mandatory two years in, in college. They're going to. I think they're, they're three. moving towards They that. need they're to make it three, three to be honest with you. These kids are coming out too late, and there's only guards coming out. Every single year in the draft, you end up with these teams that have the top five, six picks, and they need guards. They, do, they don't need guards, but that's the best players available are guards. I don't. I, I just don't get it. The next few years, there'll be more guards coming out. More guards coming out. No, more read, guards coming out. I read something that they were going to go to two years. So we'll see if that actually happens. They have to. Well, it'll e- <clears throat> it'll be similar to baseball. It'll either be drafted as straight out of high school, or if you go to college, you got to stay two years. They're not going to go back to high school. Being able to they don't. High I, the no. NBA uh, doesn't want to, but I don't think they'll go back to that. Um, they're going to have to put a minimum of like. You can only be in the league for like thirteen years for veteran players. If you start letting everybody out, you gotta get you gotta kick people out. We got Vince Carter in there, what, seventeen now? <laughs> you gotta start kicking Ron people Artest out. If someone's helpful on their years. roster, they're not gonna get rid of them. No, the league well, is gonna well, have to be Ron Artest is different because Meta he, World Peace. He went to like China and probably should have stayed there. Vince Carter's actually been in the NBA the entire time. So I actually read something interesting before I came over here um about the Cavs, which is that Cavs players have been telling Jimmy Butler 
to not let Chicago trade him to Cleveland because of the current. Oh yeah, the the GM getting fired because of, or yes, because of the GM because <laughs> LeBron might leave. Yes, so they. So Dan Gilbert might be ruining the Cleveland Cavaliers once again. So here's my thing. I've seen a lot about that stuff on Twitter about everyone hating on Gilbert and whatnot, and you know they're saying he got lucky to yes, LeBron's lucky. from. Yes, lucky. Oh, he absolutely did. Yes, Gilbert so, might on, be a worse on. owner than Robert Sarver. Well, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh man, let hold us on. get to the hold draft on, party hold first. On, hold on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> cut that out. Cut that out. Cut that out. Hold on. Here's my thing. There are a lot of instances where people have had luck, but <laughs> most true. players and owners need luck. The guy has a championship. He brought a championship to the Cleveland Cavaliers. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. He's the owner he when it happened. I don't think no, he did. It. He's the owner when it happened. He convinced LeBron, or, may, or you know, not him by himself, LeBron somehow was convinced to go back to Cleveland. I'm not saying he deserves credit for that, but as an owner, the Cleveland Cavaliers have a championship recently. Fine. Those other teams that people are talking about, shitty owners, don't have championships. Hey. That's the one big difference. So my point being, Cleveland fans really shouldn't be upset at him, even if LeBron leaves again. You, there's a buffer period after you win a championship, especially when your city is not known for winning. In New York City or L.A. or something, if you go a couple years without winning, then I can understand people getting upset. Cleveland, Philly, some of those towns that aren't used to winning shit, you win something, you get like a 10-year buffer, 5-year buffer First period. First of all, fuck Philly, because Philly had one of the greatest quarterbacks of our generation, and they hated him. Who are we talking about? Michael Vick? Donovan McNabb? Oh, well, I don't consider him one of the best quarterbacks ever. <laughs> no, not ever, but like of like our generation. Donovan McNabb took Donovan okay. Nab took the Philadelphia lot. Eagles to like three straight NFC Bruh, J- We've lit we've lived through <laughs> Tom Brady, Dan Marino, uh Joe Montana. We've lived through a lot of okay, top players but to Donovan, where Donovan McNabb Donovan, doesn't go in. Donovan there. McNabb was one of the greatest quarterbacks of his era. True or false? That's true. That's true. Uh, I disagree. And Philly fans hate Donovan McNabb. <laughs> How many like? And he didn't get. He got to the Super Bowl once, but you get to what six title games? I yeah, think he went to three in a row, or four in a row, it and was six total, ridiculous. five or six total. Like, what more do you got to do? I'm gonna have to so. Look and hey, up. I said that he's better than uh Eli Mc, Eli Manning. No, he's not. And I said that Dan Gilbert was worse Donovan than Robert McNabb. Isn't better better than Eli Manning? I know he has two Super Bowls. Yeah, he. But he's he, a better quarterback because, than Eli Manning. Literally, because Manning beat the Patriots twice, he's now a Hall of Famer just because of that. You're right. So is McNabb. But McNabb's a Hall of Famer. No, he's not. McNa- McNabb, Donovan McNabb, McNabb is, is a, Hall a Hall of Famer. Famer. No, he's not. Yes, yes he, he is. is. No, he's not. Yes, yes he, he is. is. No, he's not. No, he's not. Donovan McNabb is a Hall of Famer. No. One hundred percent. Disagree. Dante Culpepper. No. Donovan McNabb. Yes. Absolutely. I know the difference. Are you trying to tell me all black people look alike? What are you, <laughs> what are you trying to tell me right Michael now? Michael Vick? Because, <laughs> no. because McNabb, Carpenter had a period of time. That was yes, Randy was Moss era. He had Moss, yes. But, but that was like, like a, that was like now, two bro. seasons. No, he's no. not. He's You're not a Hall of Famer. Donovan McNabb is a Hall, Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer, though. Stop it. Mm-hmm. If Dan Marino is a Hall of Famer, Donovan McNabb is a Hall of Famer. Mm-hmm. No, that's not true at all. Not even close to being true. <laughs> no. Donovan McNabb is a Hall of Famer. Tell us. Tell us what you think. Why do you disciples. think Eli Manning goes to the Hall of Fame because he beat the Patriots? Because he won two Super Bowls. He won two Super Bowls. Uh, I, I believe he's going to the Hall of Fame, but locked. you said because he beat the Patriots. Well, I meant beating the team that was like, – number one, he ended the team that was supposed to go 17-0. That the doesn't like – That does have something to do with it. Yes, it does. Fine, what else? And then he beat – Tom Brady is the GOAT. Everyone talks about it. You right. guys said it here recently. I believe Montana is the best quarterback of all time. Stop it. You believe it's Brady. So he beat the best quarterback, in your opinion, of all time, twice in Super Bowls. Now, at one point, people were debating who has whose legacy will end up better, Peyton Manning or Eli Manning. Obviously, now it's going to be Peyton because he got that second Super Bowl ring, mm. even though he didn't really do anything to earn it. Mm. He's still going to be thought about as a first ballot Hall of Famer immediately uh, duh. over Eli. All right, so here are the quarterback nominees for 2017 Hall of Fame. Drew Bledsoe. Randall no. Cunningham. No, he ain't getting in. Cunningham Doug, might. Doug Flutie. Donovan Flutie McNabb. might because of all his accomplishments. Not He didn't do it so much in the NFL, but CFL. Donovan McNabb. Else. Steve McNair. Rest no, in peace. No, no. Phil Simms. Maybe. And Kurt Warner. Oh, that's another one that's debatable. There's only what uh, Cunningham, maybe. Did and you say How no? can you say Cunningham over what? McNair? Wait, say, what? Did you say? Who was the first one you said? 
Uh, Drew Bledsoe. Did you say no to Drew Bledsoe? No. He said no. Oh, okay. I no, you said F no. no. Oh, okay. How can you say Brady Cunningham? literally took his team over and won a championship? How can no. you say Cunningham and not McNair? No, I said Cunningham, maybe. No, but McNair. how can you say McNair? No. How can you say absolutely not to McNair and say yes to Randall If Cunningham? you're going in the Hall of Fame, you have to have one of two things, if not a combination of both. You have to have championships and or be somewhere up on the career statistics list. McNair is neither one of those. Neither one. He got to a Super Bowl. And, and five titles. <laughs> I don't know. What? No, he didn't. You talking about McNair? How many, about NFC McNair? Cha- how many NFC championships did he go to? Well, you said McNair. McNair, McNair. was in the AFC. McNabb. So you're now you're getting the things confused. McNabb. Which one are you talking about? McNabb. I don't know. I'm not sure. I rooted for the Eagles to beat the Patriots in that championship, and I was very upset that they didn't. I'm not going to say that. McNair was the one I was saying has no chance. McNabb, you said McNabb has no chance. Earlier I did, but then you said McNair. So which one are you talking about? McNair I'm no. talking about McNabb. Yeah, I don't think so. He may. I'm not sure. But McNair, I'm very confident, will not. We, uh, I didn't say McNair that he's going probably, to. I said McNabb's going you to. Were, you said the name's wrong. You, were, you did say McNair. You'll see on the video. Don't worry. I don't even want to be disrespectful. I'm not. The only reason he's on the list is because he passed away young. That's literally yes. the only reason oh, he's no, there. Oh no, I'm only saying it because I'll be honest with you. You get shot by your your mistress. All right, huh? I'm not. I'm not even bringing that part up. I'm sorry. <laughs> because if OJ was playing in the league and had still had his stats and did what he did, they wouldn't have let him in the Hall of Fame. Facts. Facts. They didn't right, kick so him out. The Eagles went to five in it. NFC four, title games. Four NFC title games in a row and then one four years after that. So five total. All right. Under McNair, McNabb. See? There you go again. You don't believe me when I tell you. You're messing up. Well, we'll see. We have a while. We're still in NBA talk for now. Um, let's, what are the Cavs got to do? Dang it. What are the Cavs got to do? can't um, stop saying um. What are the Cavs got to do? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It does. She's in your head, bro. Oh, she's doesn't. in my head. In your head bro. My wife's in my head. My wife's in my what head. Are the Cavs, what are the, do the Cavs need to get either Paul George or... Well, they need Paul George. And they need to keep Kevin Love. No, they don't. They need a shooter. They need Jimmy Butler <laughs> and Jesus Christ. They need everybody. They're not going to beat the Warriors. Warriors are going to win the next three championships. That's could be possible. Period. Like, I, I don't even think if I was in the West, I would even try. The Spurs, I don't care if they did keep Kawhi healthy that, that, in that series. They weren't going to beat the Warriors. They're not. You got a seven-foot monster. monster out there. Like... And there's no more seven foot monsters coming out of college doing nothing like that. Oh, there man. are. Man, please. There are. Who? There's well, it'll be two years, but there is. Man. The num- the number one player in the country as a junior right now, and probably overall, is basically a clone of Durant. A cl- he's a left handed clone of Durant. They say that about Ingram Everybody. for the Lakers. I think Ingram for the Lakers is overrated. I no, do. I mean I remember them kind of saying that about him, but he's only like he's if you measured him and Durant, that he's probably Three, four inches shorter than Durant. Pause. <laughs> yes, what are we talking about? I mean, <laughs> so there's a – Durant's height makes a big difference. I, if you're a good shooter, you're a good shooter, but his height makes a big difference. I mean, that's – We'll see. All right, we ready to do it? About, let's, do, let's do list now. Let's do it. The list. I definitely want to talk about the draft next week. You need to try to come. Pause. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're doing top 10 non-Nike – Non Jordan basketball, basketball shoes. Sneakers. Why don't you just say nothing from Nike brand? Of all time. From Nike Top Corporation, 10, period. nothing from Nike, <laughs> period. Every other brand counts. Who's going first? Honorable mentions. And let's go through the honorable mentions quick. Because okay, I got it. I got it. I got a lot of honorable mentions. I'm going to run. I'm going to go through them real quick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Converse Weapon, Grant Hill, Fila 2, Adidas Gel, Adidas uh, Gill Zero. Uh, Adidas Crazy 97, Crazy 1, Reebok Kamikazes on the table, Reebok Shack Attack, Shack Gnosis, and the Fila Stackhouse 1 and 2. I mean, he basically like says every single sneaker like from that era that was like tight. Like, he leaves like nothing for you. Which Gil Zero? One or two? Or both? One. All right. Both are trash. You're Gil Zero's smoking, are dope. You're smoking rocks. Honorable mentions Adidas uh, Rose 3, Reebok Blast, Nick Van Exels, and Fila Mashburns. Very underrated. Fila Mashburn's actually. I forgot about those. Those were very my honorable great. mentions are all classic shoes that we would never ever wear to play basketball in. <laughs> Chuck Taylor All Star, oh. Adidas Superstar. I just feel they need to be mentioned because they're the original. I was basketball gonna put them on shoes. List. Yeah, yeah. I'm just mentioning. Shout out to the original basketball shoes. Does that make you feel better? The original basketball. The original basketball shoes. You posted in the group chat yesterday. They found them in Rome in a well. Yeah, it's two thousand years ago when they were. <laughs> 
kicking a ball with stitches. I thought those were Georgia's. Thanos and Wonder Woman. You should claim those. Is that is that a better explanation for you? Yeah. Shout so out to the, the original OGs. shoes that made the game possible. Is that all your list? Chuck Taylor All-Star, Adidas Superstar. And they were shooting in the round laundry baskets. Puma Clyde and the Pro Keds Royal. All right, who wants okay. to go number 10? <laughs> all right, number 10. You don't have any honorable mentions? I already said mine. Would you? What? I said Adidas Rose 3, oh, Reebok Blast. Oh, 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 all right. Pay attention. <laughs> Number 10, front and center, the Adidas TS Light Switch Gilbert Arenas. This is the this is the MVP colorway. Vote for Gilbert. <laughs> right there. Um, number 9, Greg and I had a little discussion about this shoe before we started. Greg thinks it's extremely overrated. I think it's one of the greatest non-Nike Who's Jordan is this? Basketball. Yours? Yes. Why do you own this? Because it was tw- <laughs> it was like nineteen dollars at uh, oh uh, uh, Foot Locker a long time ago, and I love that shoe. Get out of here! Let me um, see. That. I actually like Arenas' shoes. And uh, He's number an Arizona guy. So. Number nine, Greg thinks this is a very highly overrated shoe. The and one Tai Chi. Oh, very overrated. Vince VC wore it. Yeah, I don't care what he wore. Um, and one was only popular because of street ball at that period of time. That was it. Parsh- and Marbury Parsh- and VC. Nah. Um, number eight, the Adidas Crazy Eight. I don't have a Crazy Eight, but I have the Crazy Eight Top Ten uh, Nightmare Before Christmas up there in the right corner for you listeners. Top Ten Two Thousand. Top Ten Two Thousand. Sorry, Top Ten Two Thousand. Um, then number seven, the Fila Grant Hill Two. It's been on a lot of both of our lists. You said that twice. Did you mean the Grant Hill One the first time? The Grant. I said the Grant Hill One on my honorable mentions. The Grant Hill Two is on my list. All right. I think you said. Actually, two, you said Grant Hill Two on your honorable mentions. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Grant Hill 2 is on my list. Grant Hill 1 is on our mentions. These Gilbert Arenas are for a- when, like, a- you're, a- something happens and one leg gets shorter than the other. Those, <laughs> 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 Those are for, again, the wrestler who goes and wrestles in the ring and, like, they cool are. Shoes. That's what that's for. Those are sick. Mateo, what's his mm-hmm. name? Zinzo. Salami. Enzo. Enzo, Enzo Salami. Amore. Pause. <laughs> Um, Enzo Amore, is that really his name? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. And uh, number six, the Reebok. D Brown pumps. I think I meant to put these on my list. The All Star Games. Reebok D Brown pumps. The yes. pump Omni Light. Pump Omni what Light. All Star Games. What are you talking about? From the dunk contest. I mean. Oh okay. I was talking about those. I think. I I meant, oh no, those are the Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, he said the. But I think I'm. I forgot to. I meant to put these on my list. And <laughs> those I forgot. Oh, suck. Uh, those don't suck. Why Not the shoe. You got those from Ross. This yeah. colorway you're talking about. I got them from Ross, yeah. Those I'm not talking about awful. this colorway. I'm talking about the shoe model. Yeah, I know. The model you is love one it? of the greatest of all time. I love it. I got it at Ross. Uh, okay. Um, what's my, my number 10? Number 10. <laughs> number 10. <laughs> Reebok. Why are you so worried about you're this? So worried. Because she, I don't like hearing me say um oh, either. Stop. It's she not like you're doing you. a presentation in front of a class. And he might like, get um, beat when he gets home. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. he, gets a, he gets one lashing for every um. You can't even he's, notice he's it when you're watching the show, listening to the show. You can't, but she emphasizes it so much that it makes me self-conscious. I guess you better take flowers home uh, then, B. He gets a lashing. <laughs> he gets a lashing for every um. Nah. A belt whip. Flowers don't do nothing. <laughs> now you bring on Chipotle. <laughs> All right, fam. You need to go to Uberito. Hey, there. Uberito, sponsor us. What's well, Uberito? Way better than Chipotle. Where is it? Lady. Stop it. It's by my house. Bro, have you where? been there? Where? Where? No. Where? Where? Because you haven't been there. I don't say this. nothing. Where? Because I need to eat. You after like this. Cafe Rio? Cafe Rio is trash. So Cafe Rio is not you smoking cat. rocks. Cafe Rio might be the best Let's ever. Let's get through this. Oh no no. Let's get no no. We can stop and talk about this for a Uberito. second because this show is kind of short. You want to eat an Uberito after we leave here? No, I'm going to the gym. But Cafe Rio is drunk. Edit. Cafe Rio is very good. I'm not saying it's incredible, but Uberito shits on both of them. When at you the same get time? There, both at the same time. I think you love trying to find a place better than the most popular place so you can thrive. Say that Uberito is thriving. I think you do that. You nah, do that a lot. Nah, you not do not that a lot. Oh, this Velcro might Number be one, activated. a lot of the restaurants that I'd show you or take you, as Hannah told me about, it's somebody not me will doing be that. like, somebody will say, yo, they got the greatest hammer. Nah. Um, this joint does like you have a different place for every. You never agree with There's anything with just us. a different opinion. The, he never agrees with anybody. That you ever, said that chain restaurant had the best hamburger in Phoenix. The Zen Burger hamburger is the best. No, it's, no, it's not. not. What are you Ingos. talking about? Ingos has that's the best one of them. It's not the best. That's one of them. Saint Francis. <laughs> 
<laughs> St. Francis is not the best burger. Have you had it? Yes. No, you haven't. It, what are you talking about? I have been to St. Francis. St. Francis I, I'm is sure way you, overpriced. I'm sure you. Oh, okay, what does that have to do with taste best? All right, I'm sure well, you have been there. Have you ordered the burger? I've ordered there? the burger right. and like some type of ribs or some type of thing I had there. And they brought the it on burger a burger there. Uh, is a wood insane. board. Ingo's is that 1A and I've never one, heard of one that. and 1A. 1 and 1A. Yes, one is varsity and junior varsity. <laughs> uh, number 10, Reebok Shack Attack. Okay. Reason? I mean, <laughs> that's a big man, the biggest man in the NBA sneaker, and anybody can wear it. I have and, some and Reeboks on my list. Anybody. You should be proud of me. probably have like two, probably. You should be proud of me. Number nine. A lot of people don't even know what this looks like because Reebok consistently consistently wants to release nonsense. Reebok Rain Man 1. Okay. And it's going to come across the screen just like this. So people Love know it. know what it looks like. It'll stop right here. <laughs> yes. With, it's going to stop right there. Stop yes. Right so here. Along with... Paul Keekley. What's his name? Luke Keekley. Luke Keekley. Number eight. You know they can the shoe and him can hit each other. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. Converse Voltage. Spree Wells. Beautiful. It's a little <laughs> further doing? down. I'm bringing, I'm bringing the shoes in. Uh, like, you don't know what that looks like? Converse Voltage? I mean, if Sprewell was my favorite player when Jordan was out in the league. So I thought you said it was on the table. I no, they oh. slide. <laughs> you got it sliding across the front. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Number I seven. You put the shoe right Number there. seven, Fila one. I'm sorry, Fila Hill one. And okay. number six. Six, Adidas Adi Rose. You said I'm again. The first Rose. Adidas <laughs> Adi Rose one. You don't like any of the Rose shoes. Get out of here. What are you talking you about? You don't like any Derek Rose shoes. I love the one and the three. Those to me are the best Derrick Rose sneakers that there are. I've heard there is no. I've heard enough. Actually. I don't best care what Derrick you Rose. say. I hoop. <laughs> and Derrick Rose won. <laughs> he got his hand chopped it out. Yeah, I hooped and uh, Derrick Rose won. And then that man broke his hand. Payback George, to what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, George? Something that you guys don't have on your list. This is number 10? The A6 Gel Spotlight. Definitely don't have that, but I remember it. That was the one that... Uh, Fire. Don't Isaiah they Thomas wore? Yes. Just fire. say they were cool. Isaiah Thomas wore? Okay, what's the difference? Just say cool. Yes. 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 Yeah. Isaiah Thomas, amongst others. Uh, shout out to Bobby Shuley. The D Wade. Number nine, the Leaning Way of Wade 4. I think the 4 is the best of those. Bobby Shuley doesn't models. listen, I don't think. Nah. Because he didn't I mean, respond I, to my I, Bobby Shuley backyard comments. Nah. I mean, I don't Listen, care. Bobby Shuley. Shout out to the only person I know who owns those. I mean, why I would you have, put that I, on your yeah, list just to be away. different? Because those Contrary. Suck. No, they don't. Okay. Look at look the model up. The model is I did like look a, it up. Way of Wades don't suck. They're just not for anybody but D-Wade Way of Wades look like Gilbert Arena sneakers. Well, there's two Gilbert Arena sneakers on my list, too. So. <laughs> Y'all are. Number eight, the Fila Grant Hill 2. I know I talk a lot of junk about it on previous shows because that meant Nikes and Jordans were on my list. But for a list with no <laughs> Nikes and Jordans, the Fila Grant Hill 2 belongs on the list. And honestly, the Team USA one is better than the first one he wore in the Pistons. Debatable. Debatable. It was the when Pico's like fire. The Pico is debatable. It's like all white instead of having the blue outline on the oh, side. Oh yeah, I remember talking about it. It was yeah. too much white. It was, but they're fire though. It's not the were. shoe is not all white. I though. think There's the navy colors. The navy that. blue version might have been the best color. The peacoats. Is that what that was? The white and navy blue. They were mostly navy blue. Oh, with the white uh, triangle. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, number seven. This one you can make fun of. Feel free. The Converse Fast Break Low, which is that Jordan PE Converse shoe. Huh? I'm not here. <laughs> Dope. What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't feel free to make fun of it. I'm just saying this. Shoe I was is, thinking about. I was actually thinking about it today when I was looking at the. I was watching. You're the, trying too hard if you put something like that. No, you're not. No, you're not. Stop it. Because I. I mean, I had Converse too hard weapons on my honorable mentions. My list came off the top of my head. You guys probably typed in George's. Most of than these. Us. Okay, most of these. That's true. That is one. These. The, <laughs> most of these things I didn't own either. Like the Gilbert <laughs> Arena shoes I owned. These I owned obviously. These I owned, and that might be about it. And the pumps and the original pumps and these. You own these. So number six. You own these? Uh, no, F no. Number six, Adidas Gill Zero, the one and two slash. Yes, split. Yep, split one and two because I couldn't pick between them. Is that number six? That's yep. it. All right, Ryan. Top five. Top five. Non Nike. Non Nike. Product. <laughs> sneakers. <laughs> Gregory's and my top five, I think, are going to be very, very similar. Number five, the Converse Larry Johnson Grandmama. That's not what it's called, but yes. See, now, see, here's the thing. Aero Jams. You would, for some reason, hate on me for not having that on the list, but to me, that was a super bulky shoe that didn't go well for anyone. But so we're I talking didn't... about in 1992? Yeah. I, One. Yeah, I understand 91. that. Yeah. But 
to me sucks. You can't do a AC There's spotlight a lot of and talk about bulk. Oh, well. It's a more simple shoe. That the React, whatever that React uh, juice. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, that's what, the, that's what the Nike stuff's called. React. Yeah, it's React. So which is they, they bit off Con. I guess they own Converse, so they can do that. They but can do whatever they want. I did. Yeah, it had like a what did it have like a sundial on, on the on the <laughs> no, lace it pattern. It had like some on the lace pattern. Man, get out of here. No, it, was it didn't. That shoe was fire. There's a lot of flights and forces that came out that I didn't remember the name of that probably would have made my list because I actually own those. But I, it's so hard. Oh, sorry, not, those are Nike. What it's am I so about? hard not to put a Nike. On these, even when you think of the most obscure Nikes, and you're like, "Oh crap, these are still Nikes." Yeah. Like, this shoe number four better be on your list. It's not because I know what you're gonna say, and it should be on your list as well. But it is one of the greatest basketball shoes of all time. The Converse Run and Slam. <sighs> Kevin Johnson's. Kevin Johnson's. It's not on your list. It's been on other lists that you've made. You're right, but oh. uh, top ten. I don't think yeah. I was ever a big enough. I do like that shoe. I didn't look it up. I, I will admit I did like that shoe. I owned it when it came out. But I was never a big fan of Kevin Johnson for some reason. Like when he, Who did he dunk on? Olajuwon? Yeah. I was upset when he dunked on Olajuwon because I, I liked Olajuwon more. Oh, come on. Seriously. Everybody's entitled to their day in the sun. Oh, all right. If he had a he had yeah, longer yeah, like that word play. All right. First of all, throw that at you. <laughs> Number two, he had more than one day in the sun. What else now, you if you said John had, Starks, yeah, days with maybe also. he had one day in the sun. Um, now I'm making fun of a son's legend, and we're going to the thing tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> You've been making fun of Kevin Johnson for an entire year. What are you talking about? They probably make fun of him, too. <laughs> I got stories about Kevin oh, Johnson. Um, Go ahead. Number three, the Fila Grant Hill. <laughs> you lost your numbers on these, bro. What? Which one is it? Just say, uh, just I take it off. Just take it. It's so great. It's on my, it's on my list twice. In my oh honorable my God. <laughs> just take it off your honorable mention list. Just make one a one and one a two. It's great. <laughs> it's great. Hill two's an honorable mention. It's in the bottom five. I and dropped it twice. <laughs> five. <laughs> I think I meant the Grant Hill one for seven and the two for three. Anyways, number two. <laughs> oh my God. Number two, the Reebok Allen Iverson answer. Yeah. And number one, the greatest shoe of all time. I have a pair on my feet and a pair right here. The Allen Iverson Reebok answers. Those are questions. Questions. You all over the place with your <laughs> list, bro. Man, I should have drank that Clamato. <laughs> I need these to come back out. That's what I need. Oh, yeah, I'd buy those. You, don't, you wouldn't buy them. I might. No, if they, yeah. if they looked exactly Ruvilla? the same. Buy Ruvilla for forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Half price. Buy two, get twenty percent off. I'm copying. Boy, Number might. five, Converse, uh, Larry Johnson Aero Jams. Those have to be on a list because I never owned those though, so I didn't care for them. You I had did to love like them, though. now. I did like Larry Johnson and I did like the Hornets because back then everyone liked the Hornets. It was like the most popular colors sold in the NBA. <clears throat> I am but. so surprised. Well, I don't know what George has yet. But neither one of you have, I think, a Tracy McGrady on your list? A T Mac one? Oh shit. I thought, yeah, I I thought about, about it. T-Mac. Come on. Or a T Mac Bron- five? LeBron wore it his senior year, yeah. That's LeBron right. also wore these. These are the LeBron James player samples. T Mac one for number four. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm I glad you, about T-Max. I'm glad you did the one over the other numbers because the two and the five get more love than the one for some reason. Five, five is a good silhouette. It wasn't executed It was completely correctly. different. That's the only yeah. way people like it because it wasn't like anything like the other ones. Number three, Reebok question slash Reebok answers. That's my number three. Number You did a slash between questions and answers? I did. Number oh, and that's that. not number one. Okay, All number right. two. That's not number one. Number two. Adidas top ten two thousand. The first Kobe's. Right. Those are so underrated. And number one, Reebok Kamikaze. Sean Kim. Sean Kamikaze. Kamikaze two. Sorry, there's a difference. Kamikaze two. These ones. Kamikaze Once you two. didn't put questions number one, I knew it was going to be either that or shots. I don't understand what the issue is with you guys in Kamikazes. Like, it's, why do you hate Kamikaze so I don't, much? I own them. I don't, I don't, I don't hate them. Hate you them, own a It's not number one over this. This. Is, this is better. This is the best non-Nike Jordan basketball yes. shoe of all time. Yes. That's I'm fast. not going to say I yes cannot, no. I'm you, not saying you're wrong. You I'm talking what? about to me. You know what? Forty or 28 days ago, you would have agreed. 
I'm telling you. <laughs> You feel different about Allen Iverson. Days ago, you feel different about Allen Iverson lately. No, you have a, you have a. You, I want to. I'll admit that step over hey, pack did do something. That to step me. over pack came out at a lot more places than I thought it was because wasn't it supposed to be limited to like two hundred fifty pairs? It was on like a that? Reebok full size run the entire day. Shut up. Yeah. How much was it? Like other like small like boutique store. How much is it? How much is it? I don't know. I looked at the Reebok tweet. I'm copying. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? I don't know. Who has it? Send me a tweet. Yeah. Go to, right go to number five. Com. Number five. Adidas TS Creator Low. TS Gilbert Creator Arena's Low. shoe before he got the gills. Creator Low. Look it up. I don't know what that one is. You, you, when you see it, you'll know. Did he not send you his list before? Adidas. Yeah, yeah did. I did. Adidas TS Creator Low. Number four. You can call it the Crazy Eight if you want. I just have it listed as Adidas KB8. I agree with that. That what? That um. Creator low, creator low, yeah, fire. Totally. There was a undercrown version that was so yeah, it was all white. fire. It was all white. All right. I saw it today. I didn't realize they made that. I just remembered that that shoe was dope. You guys will be mad about this, but I don't care. Simple owns them. I think he said he got them for a good price. Adidas crazy explosive prime knit lows. I was gonna put that on my honorable mention, but it's too new. It's definitely top ten. I mean, it's it's top ten. I think a deal could create another basketball shoe that would be decent ever. I don't care if they had boost or not. <laughs> we didn't even talk about the Hardens. Anyways. Dude, those fucking yeah. Hardens are sick. Mm. The pink yeah, I mean, you, we can talk about those after this. Number two. Yeah, Maybe my, no, nah, I was going to say maybe my most favorite Reebok of all time, but I don't know. Questions are probably, it's like one and two or A and B. Reebok Pump Omni Light. The D Brown colorway, we pick one. I mean, the other colors are dope too, but just D Brown a dunk contest with the Omni lights are like so this. weird. <laughs> he has he dab. That was might have been the original dab. <laughs> Him and Carl Malone dab before anybody. I, Omni lights are so weird Carl because did this one. Oh, you're right. Who? Oh, I was thinking of Sarah's the bottles when he had the block. Yeah. Sarah's the bottles dunk contest. Yeah. Anyways, I one thing about Omni lights and I love Reebok. You know, I love Reebok, but with Omni lights cross trainers. Because it was like the Michael Chang, it was like oh yeah, I think they just you they just called a bunch of different shoes that same thing. I it think. was the same model, wasn't it? I don't think so. Those Wimbledon, I have. I think the basketball the version grounds, is a little bit it? bigger. Oh, it is it. Oh, it's a little bit bigger of a shoe, okay. I think. Okay. But it looks similar though. And the number one of all time non Nike umbrella is obviously this right here. Why is that obviously? That's obvious. Come on, man. That's as obvious as the... When he came out with the red toes on and shook MJ up. That's about as obvious as Jordan 1 Lowe's being the greatest, most disrespected sneaker of all time. I don't think those are better than Kamikaze. Yes, they are. I had Reeboks number one and two on my list. You should be happy, dude. The reason why why these are better than (laughs) Kamikaze's is because Allen Iverson wore these and Sean Kemp wore those. (laughs) That's why... I I had every single question. There wasn't a question I didn't have in that period. But But you don't have the answers. What are you talking about? I do have answers. I don't have answer fours. I have answer ones. That those are the ones that matter. Got back, all these questions and no answers. Back when the hexalite was real instead of painted on. Uh yeah. <laughs> Actually, hexalite I don't think was ever real. Well, I, no, I had I Herman mean, Moore's. There, but... I had Herman Moore's, and I ripped the hexalite off. It was just nothing. I said, <laughs> "What is this?" The honeycombs. Yeah, Hardens. Y'all copying Hardens? Uh, they're fire. The pink Hardens ones are fire. I'm just definitely copying at the outlet shoe. for sixty percent off. It's I, the same shoe. Yeah, no, I'm, it's not. It's different. It's the probably, laces are on the top instead of the side because the side laces suck. The, I think the <laughs> laces have been slightly moved, but I don't think it's as far as you think. Because when you look at the, I don't know, it's weird. They still go down super far on the side of the shoe. It's just different because that toe <coughs> cap is gone, and now it's like a one piece instead of a. And they added like a print. I don't know that swirls or is that always on the other like swirls? Ele- elephant print? No, that's like the print that's on. <laughs> that's like the print that's on my the hyper the the uh, crazy explosive lows. Oh, okay. I think they're still going to be just as bulky. Like when I put that green one on the other day, it's almost like size twelve is too big. Like you guys wear nine and a half, you probably could get away with it, but a twelve is like a snowshoe. It's a toe box. I can see that. Uh, anything else? Oh, so. He's so oh. upset with himself. That's a sneak this. You've been waiting to do that. <laughs> he couldn't wait. With his list. Been making that airplane the entire time. He's like, I'm going to throw that airplane. 